Greetings, salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei, back with another Power Query tutorial. Well, I've been looking around at various Power Query functions, and I came across this interesting one, uh, Text Reverse. And I was thinking, how can I use this? But Text Reverse, what it does is it takes a text field like this, like Power Query, and then you apply it, and it reverses the text completely. So I was thinking, like, what is a good way to apply this in an example? So the data set we're going to be applying this to is this little uh, table over there. We have various stocks stock codes for specific years and how much of that stock is held in each portfolio for that year right what we're gonna do is we are gonna add a total row after each stock and we are gonna use the text reverse to sort the stock code well it's quite an interesting creative way to use text reverse to do a sorting so let me show you how to do it all right, so as always, you select your data set, go to data, and you say from table arrange, which pulls it into Power Query. There you go, there's Power Query. So I am going to take this change type step, and I'm just going to F2 and rename it to main table. The reason why I'm doing that is it's because it's going to become easier to refer back to the step, and you'll see why later. So I call this the main table, which is just the raw table there with transformations done on each of the column types. Right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to transform, and we're going to use the group by function. I love this function. So we're going to click on advanced. We're going to say, yes, group it by stock code. Uh, yes, do the sum of portfolio. And I'm going to call this first column portfolio one. Yes, and I'm going to add another one. Do the sum of portfolio two. I'm going to call this one portfolio two. And we're going to say aggregation sum, do portfolio three and do portfolio three there. And we say, OK. So now that basically took each stock and added it globally and got a total for each portfolio. Wonderful. What I want to do now is I'm going to use an interesting, you can see this is actually one table function. This is this table. I'm going to transform this stock column and add append this with total stock code. Right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use table transform columns, which basically is transform columns. The very first argument there is the table. This whole thing is the table. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, and that's just like a double curly bracket. I'm going to say, yes, take the stock code column. Yes, and take that and say each for each item in the stock code column. Start with total space and then I'm going to say and and then underscore, which basically would refer to each value in there. So I'm just going to say that's beautiful. Go. And now that appended each stock code with the keyword total. Wonderful. Let's look at this thing. I'm going to press F2 and rename this to total table. All right. So now next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a new step. I'm just going to add a new step over there. And I'm going to take the main table. Yes. And I'm going to say and the total table. I'm going to append them. There we go. So now it stacks them on top of each other. All right. That's pretty cool. That's what we want. And this is actually the result table. What I want to do is I now want to sort this to make sure that the totals like that total BA should be under BA and the total CRM should be under CRM. So the principle we're going to use here, and this is pretty creative and pretty cool, is we're going to say, OK, BA, which is that first stock over there. If we reverse it, it's going to be AB, AB, AB. And that BA total is also AB. So if we sort according to the reverse, it's going to do exactly what we want. It's pretty cool, pretty creative. So we're going to do a text reverse and sort by the text reverse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say table sort. And I want to sort this table, which is a appended table. And I want to say each. And we're going to do it by text reverse. Right, and I'm going to say the stock code column, and I'm going to close it out like that. And there we go. Isn't that awesome? This is a very creative use for text reverse to basically do some sorting. I'm going to say close and load. And there you have your totals for each stock code in each portfolio. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Well, I hope this opens your mind on how creative you can get with your solutions if you know how some of the functions work in Power Query. And with a little bit of creativity, you can apply that and do a cool thing like we did just now. Well, BA Sensei, signing out.